Good day, students. Um, on this group, we're going to be going over some examples on how to classify um, polynomials and also how to determine the degree um, of polynomials with multiple and single variables, okay? All right, so before we get started with um, the example, let us go over some vocabulary terms real quick, okay? So, so vocab, vocabulary. Um, there are some few terms I want you to uh know the meaning of or to acquaint yourself with before we get started with the actual problems the first one is monomial okay so what is a monomial a monomial as uh the word will suggest monomial is basically a polynomial with one term okay a polynomial a polynomial with one term. Okay? So, for example, if you have um, 3x to the third, this, uh, that's a monomial. Alright? How about a binomial? A binomial, the word by suggests two, it is a polynomial, the polynomial with two terms. Okay? With, with two terms. An example of that is 3x squared plus 1. Okay, so you have a term and a term. Terms are separated by plus or minus, okay, and this is just one term. How about trinomial? You know what a triangle looks like, right? It's a quadrilateral, uh, I'm sorry, it's a polygon with three sides. So a trinomial is going to be a polynomial with three sides. Okay, so trinomial is a polynomial, is a polynomial with uh three three terms okay three terms an example of a trinomial is your standard quadratic uh expression 2x squared plus 3x minus 1 that's an example of a trinomial okay now what if you have um four more terms polynomial can be used as a general polynomial polynomial uh can also be gen used as as a general as a generalized terminology for classifying polynomials with more than uh, three terms. Okay, so any polynomial, any polynomial with four or more terms, or more terms can be classified. Can be classified as a polynomial, okay? Polynomial. For uh, the purposes of Algebra 1, most of the polynomials you're going to be dealing with are going to go all the way up to trinomial, and then the bigger ones you can just call polynomial. Um, although they have specific names for them, but for the, pur for the scope of this course, uh, these three specific uh, classifications will suffice. And then anything more than Four, I mean more than three, just call them polynomials, okay? All right, now let's take a look at some examples. The instructions are as follows. Uh, classify, classify each polynomial, each polynomial, and find the, its degree, and find the degree, okay? So that's the task for uh, the examples we're going to be looking at. So example one, number one, what if we had the polynomial 3x squared minus 5x? All right, so what is, what is the classification here? You have two terms, so a class, it's a binomial, so you have two terms, okay? Binomial, in the degree, the variable, the exponent of the big, the variable with the highest power is this x squared. So this this term right here has the biggest degree, has a variable with the biggest degree. So the degree is two. All right. Okay. Let's take a look at another example. Example two. What if we had the uh, polynomial three x to the fourth, y to the third, 
what are the classification here? What what kind of uh, polynomial is this? This is just only one term, so it's a monomial. Monomial. What is the degree here? There is only one term, so we're just going to look at the powers, okay? The powers of the variables. We have two variables. So all you simply do is sum the powers, okay? The sum of this power and that power right there is going to tell us what the degree is. So 4 plus 3 equals 7. So the degree of this monomial is 7. Okay? All right. Let's try some more examples. Example 3. What if we had uh, the expression 3c to the third, d to the second, plus 4c uh, to the fifth, plus 2d? All right, what is the classification of this uh, polynomial? What can we classify it as? We have one, two, three, three terms. So this is a trinomial, okay? This is a trinomial. All right. Um, let me just change this problem a little bit, or else we're going to be having an issue here. So let's make this. Yeah, well, that's that's fine. Um, so now, what's the degree? The degree of this trinomial. Uh, so, what is the degree? We're going to look at the powers of the variables and then determine uh, which one has the biggest degree, okay? This this term uh, has degree 1. The degree of this term is 1 because you have a 1 here. The degree of this term is 5. And then the degree of this term is 3 plus 2, which is 5. All right, so we have an overlap of 5 and 5. So um, the degree of this polynomial is simply 5, okay? So any one of these can claim that position. They are both, both the highest, so you just take the highest power, which is 5. So the degree here is 5, okay? All right, let's try another example. Example 4. Let me separate my workspace so that you do not get confused. Uh, what if we have the following... Um, if we have the following polynomial, what if we have 9x to the third y squared plus... 11x to the seventh power. Okay? All right, what's the classification of this? Uh, is this a monomial, binomial, or trinomial? We have two terms here, so this is simply a binomial. Okay, this is a binomial expression. Now, what is the degree? All right, let's take a look at the degree of each term. The biggest degree, the term with the biggest degree will basically tell us what the degree of the whole binomial expression will be, okay? So if you look at this one, uh, 3 plus 2, the degree of this term is 5. And then the degree of this term is simply 7. You're just looking at the variables. Since this is a bigger degree, guess what? This is going to be the degree of the entire binomial expression. Okay, so the degree here is 7. Okay, so remember, uh, it's the biggest one that determines what the uh, degree of the whole expression is. Okay? All right. Let's go ahead and try another example. Example 5. Uh, what if we had uh, the expression um, 7x to the third plus 4x squared minus 3xy plus 7y cubed. Or 7y squared, I'm sorry, 7y squared. Okay, let's take a look at this polynomial expression. Uh, what can we classify this polynomial expression as? So, classification, go down a little bit, class. How many terms are there here? We have one, two, three, four, four terms. So, if you have four terms, um, we can just call it a polynomial. Remember in, in initial um, agreement that any for the purposes of this course, any polynomial with a degree 4 greater, we just call the polynomial. Okay, so we have four terms here, so that's the polynomial, okay? So now what is the degree, what is the degree of this polyn uh, polynomial with four terms? Um, so, all right, so the degree, we're going to look at the degree of each term. The biggest one will be the degree of the entire expression, okay? So this is 3. The degree of this one is 3 because that's the degree of the variable. 
The degree of this term right here is 2. The degree of this, we have a 1 for the x and 1 for the y. If we add 1 plus 1, we have 2 for this term. The degree of this term is 2. The highest degree is 3, so guess what? The degree of the entire polynomial is 3. Okay? All right, example six. Uh, let's take a look at, let's look at the geometry example, okay? So, classify, classify the polynomial. Um, that represents, that represents the um, area of square below okay area of the square below all right all right so let's say that we have a square like this and then the dimension of the square um, is 2x minus 1 and 2x minus 1 so um we first have to find a polynomial that represents the area and then we'll classify it, okay? So we know that the area is basically s squared, right? So in this case, s is basically 2x minus 1. So the area of this square is going to be 2x minus 1 squared. So square basically means you're multiplying this quantity by itself. So you have 2x minus 1 times 2x minus 1. And then you're going to uh, multiply this out by following the double distribution, okay? So 2x to 2x. 2x to 1, and then negative 1 to 2x, and negative 1 to negative 1, all right? So, like, first outer, inner, last, okay? So, 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times negative 1 is negative 2x. Negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. And then negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1, all right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add in downwards so that we can generate the polynomial that represents the uh, area of the square that we have um, provided. Okay, so we add downwards, we have 4x squared. Signs are the same, you add and keep the sign, minus 4x plus 1. All right, so this is a polynomial that represents the area. So what is the classification of this? So let's classify it. This is, has three terms, so this is a trinomial. So this is a trinomial. Okay, and uh, the degree, this has degree 2, this has degree 1, this has degree 0, so the degree is 2, so they, there you have a trinomial of degree 2. All right, so that's that. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please subscribe to my videos so you can get uh, updates to future cool clips such as this. You can also share the contents of this video with your friends. Uh, more videos can be found on myclerserve.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.